Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, and if you follow me on Instagram at Old Car Auto Guy, last night you seen a post come up uh, there and on Facebook with a new contest that I'm running uh, for a free T-shirt with our logo on it. And what I want you to do is, if you're a subscriber and you record an intro or an outro to my vlog, introducing me or telling everybody to subscribe and like, then if I like your video and I use it, I'm going to send you a t-shirt. So that's all you got to do. Don't be camera shy. Don't worry about the makeup. And please, no Snapchat filters. It's just freaky. And you know who you are. <clears throat> so one of the easy things that I find about vlogging is that when there is lots on the go, there's lots to talk about and lots to do. The toughest thing about vlogging is when there's not much on the go and not much to do, it's difficult to find things to talk about. So one of the things I will talk about right now is that I, I did have a salesman come in for a visit yesterday from one of the tire companies that we deal with and one of the things that he was saying was that he feels like we have a really good presence on the internet as far as the company goes. And I explained to him, I said, you know, that is kind of the, the goal that, you know, if you're if you're accessible on the internet or via social media or a cell phone or whatever, then you're gonna be available. You're gonna have people that wanna call you and wanna talk to you and wanna, you know, get some more information. And part of the idea of this vlog was to you know, start showing a little bit about what we're doing as a company. Uh, you know, have a little bit of fun with it, and you know, maybe mix a little bit of personal in there too once in a while. But uh, all in all, is it's just one more avenue that we have to be able to showcase who we are and what we're all about. And you know, there's a, a lot of things that you know we pride ourselves on, and, and one of those is that you know, there's no baloney. We don't have gimmicks meaning, you know, we don't have tricks to get you into our dealership. Uh, there's a lot of dealerships out there that, uh, that choose to have um, gimmicks. So you gotta be careful on what you offer your customers. And one thing that we do offer our customers that I don't, I guess it kind of is a gimmick, but it really isn't a gimmick, uh, is a 90 day uh, warranty garages don't offer much of a warranty we give you 90 days or 3,000 kilometers and nobody else in town is doing that so that's why we go over our vehicles as well as we do that's why we you know check over all the brakes free up the calipers and check the suspension and uh, you know windshields and window switches and all this sort of stuff so we try and make sure that we have everything looked after for you so that you don't have to so again, that's just one of the little things that we uh, that we pride ourselves on uh, here at the uh, at the dealership at Old Car Auto, and uh, you know you can find us online at www.oldcar o l d e c a r r dot com. Oh, so speaking of the uh, 2012 Kia Soul here, I had to order some keys uh, for the car because, as you know, we uh, somebody has lost the keys or misplaced them. Maybe they dropped them on the ground while we were moving them and uh, the snowplow picked them up and put them in a snowbank somewhere. The key saga continues. Um, we've got two keys at the GM dealer right now that are all programmed and ready to go. I just got to go pick those up for the uh, Buick Verano and for the, uh, the Silver Silverado. And once we have those keys then we are officially have two keys for every vehicle. Man, it's just chilly out this morning. Yeah, that's good. It's not a, it's, it's, the color is not a showy color. No. Time you get the chrome and stuff on it. Oh, uh, yeah, that's gonna, and well, you the, once you get the armrest and the door pin, or the, 
the armrest. Where's that? The handles. The handles. And I don't know what kind of job it's going to be put these on because those studs aren't very long. Yeah. Leave that up standing. Look, better stand up, though. You can see it. Yeah. That's going to just show up that way, isn't it? That looks good down there. Yeah, I think so. The only way it looked good there if you had three of them. Yeah, three of them, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Well, I think it, that's the bottom of the door doesn't have anything, so that would. Uh, I think that would look already down there. Break it up a little bit. Yeah. Well, you got that. You're gonna have that there. Chrome door handles. Yeah, chrome door handles. Yeah. I think that'll be just fine. Yeah. Well, if I can convince you to get those uh, window trims painted. Silver, like the dash, that'll set it off across the top too. Well, that's what I was thinking. If we, if we knew exactly where we were mounting the speaker yeah. from the back side, you could cut the wood out, yeah. leave the fabric, and the sound will come through the fabric. I mean, not yep. not the foam, but just leave leave the fabric open from the back side. I don't know if you can do that and make it look all right or not, but that's the best place I can think of for that chrome now because. Yeah. The way everything else is here, we got the armrest that goes in that one. That's what we had intended to, wasn't it? Something yeah, we like were going to do it like that, and then when we realized the yeah. armrest was uh, had to get moved. Like, well, if the speaker will tell us. You know, if, the, yeah. if, that's, if the speaker's in the way down here. The speaker's, the grill, if the grill has to go on the other side, the grill's going to be a little wider than, well, not much wider than the speaker, I guess, but six by nine. Well, the grill's going to screw into the, into the same, same, same holes in the speaker, yeah, so. Same size. So. I let you guys do it. <laughs> too many people in here figuring it work. <laughs> well, we can't do anything until we know, until we get the speakers and know where they're going to go. That's right, yeah. So. So probably even before we cover that completely. Yeah, like everything is done now. It's just a matter of making sure everything's straight. And yeah. Staple at all. Because I can move on to doing the. Uh, the other side. Yeah, well, it's pretty much done too. I just have to slow this one. Yeah, I was going to tell you not to put anything back on the car anyway until we get the speakers. Yeah. So we put them in there, yeah. and I've got, like I say, those. Uh, you all probably don't listen to that country. Sh anyway, it's not really <laughs> <laughs> I don't listen to country. It's the only thing worth listening to. Danny, come on. <laughs> I don't mind some country rock or something like that. Some of it. Well, you got to have some of those women on there screeching. <laughs> they the country, country music is Bay Hill and Snowy Plains. Yeah, there you go. Bay Hill's got a little bit of a rattle. Yeah, you could I'll edit that out. <laughs> what do you think, Jason? The speakers, you probably need one of you. No, speakers mounted to this alone. If they're back here, it would shake quite a bit when you shut it, because you got to slam them doors a little bit like the new cars. But here, they're not going to be as much of a slam, are they? Well, that's where you want them anyways, because your seat's oh, going to be up against the back yeah, there. That's where it's going to be, but I'm just thinking about uh, how, fast, how securely we should have them fastened. Should we go down, well, and, should we go down and fast them to a little bit of metal? Well, that's what I was saying. You should build, you got this brace coming down through here. You're probably going to want to have something going from here down to here well, to mount that the, speaker. If we had the, that's a, those we speakers, the speakers got a lot of weight to them. You start slamming those doors, and this, it's gonna, eventually it's just going to start bending this. If we slide the speaker along here... We could fasten one screw right into the metal here, and maybe one. I don't know how long it is. It's only no, it's only going to be six by nine. Well, six yeah. by nine, but your mounting bracket, your mounting holes are going to be a little bit longer. Might have to weld a few. Might have to weld a bracket or two. We won't know until the speakers come. No sense guessing without the speakers. Yeah. yeah. I think it's. I think it's a little better down here somewhere than up there, though. Yeah. That's well, the up there. like we said, you're going to have chrome here. You're going to have it in the door handles, yeah. and if we do get those trim rings painted silver. Be just enough to set it off, break it up some. You've got mail. Was that me? I think so. <laughs> I, I lost my phone like six months ago. So, <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, you still got lots to work on yet. Oh yeah, I still got lots to do. <laughs> <laughs> lots and lots. Hey, nice See ya. Idea.
Hi, hey, Kelly. You there? How you doing? I'm wonderful. That's good. What would you like for your 40? Uh, I'm going to take a blue and a green. Blue and a green, blue and white, green and white? Sure. Blue and white, green and white. I heard that. Excellent. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Well, I got my tickets, so I'm going to go home. Hopefully the take home at least tonight is going to be somewhere around probably 15 to $17,000. So even if you get your ticket pulled and you don't flip the ace, it's a pretty good payday. So I'm going home and I'll watch it on Facebook Live and uh, I'll let you in. Well, I guess it's going to be another mild February morning. So, as you can tell by the video, I didn't win the 115,000 bucks. Kind of sad about that. But somebody very well deserving won the 17 grand. The rotary draw last night for a $7,500 cruise to Alaska, I uh, did not win that either. Again, kind of bummed. But today's a new day. The jackpot goes up for the super draw next week. And we'll have to buy some more tickets. That's all I can say. Guys, if you like what you see, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you're tuning in for the first time, hit the subscribe button right here. And if you want to see more of my videos, click the box below it. Thanks. We'll see you next time.